in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 14th of february ash wednesday with this we begin a new season in the liturgical year and that is lent a day of obligation to fast and abstain from meat it's also valentines day now today we have three readings first reading taken from joel second reading st paul's second letter to the corinthians and the gospel text we will now focus our attention on the gospel text of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 6 verses 1 to 6 then 16 to 18 at that time jesus said to his disciples beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them for then you will have no reward from your father who is in heaven Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you and when you pray you must not be like the hypocrites for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by others Truly I say to you they have received their reward but when you pray go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you and when you fast do not look gloomy like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others truly I say to you they have received their reward but when you fast anoint your head and wash your face that your fasting may not be seen by others but by your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Let's say you were an avid jogger. Every morning, rain or shine, you were out on the road, getting your three miles in. How often do you think you would tell your co-workers or neighbors that you ran that morning? Probably not very often. it's just something you do because you know how good it is to establish a healthy exercise routine it's this kind of attitude that jesus is asking us to have when it comes to the traditional lenten practices of fasting prayer and alms giving they should be so much a part of our everyday routine that we would see no reason to boast about doing them of course we know how challenging it can be to keep to these practices life tends to get in the way 
But isn't that the whole purpose of Lent? To step back from the busyness of life a bit so that we can grow closer to God? These next 40 days offer us a wonderful opportunity to enter into the blessings of a routine. If we can commit to praying every day this Lent, we will be well on our way to forming a permanent habit of spending time with God and letting His Word exchange our hearts. If we can commit the next six weeks to fasting from some food or activity or attitude that has too tight a grip on us, we stand the chance of becoming less attached to this world and more attached to Christ. If we can commit to giving some of our time and money to helping the poor on a regular basis, generosity and compassion will begin to flow from us more naturally. Jesus is inviting you to turn to the Lord your God this Lent. Every journey begins with the smallest, most ordinary of steps. So get into the daily habit of turning to Him through these three ordinary spiritual practices. Then watch to see whether something extraordinary comes of them. Jesus, help me embrace the everyday ordinary practices of Lent so that I can grow closer to you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the psalm builds on the theme of repentance with the refrain, Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. It is a plea to God to look beyond the sinfulness of the past and to bring a new clean heart to the people. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response, Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me completely from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. My transgressions, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a willing spirit, O Lord. Open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, wish you all a fruitful season of Lent. And today we have two Masses here at the Infant Jesus Shrine. First at 6.30 in the morning and the second one at 6 in the evening. 6.30 in the morning and 6 in the evening. And on every Thursday during the Infant Jesus Novena, 
prior to the mass instead of the rosary we will have short reflections on the way of the cross and on every friday of lent we will have the way of the cross at 5:30 in the evening followed by the eucharist and on sundays we will have the way of the cross in the open air at 5:30 in the evening followed by reflection on the passion and then adoration of the blessed sacrament now today we remember all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially father joyce and saldana kamalite michel minezes from udupi cyprian rebello from kulshekar mangalore james tisuza from jippu mangalore sonia julia pinto from kulshekar bari wish you all a happy birthday god bless you and we pray for the departed soul of leslie disouza from mira road mumbai may the lord grant him eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow bye bye